Good morning. Good morning. Back in the woods. Hope y'all got. <clears throat> hope y'all were having a great morning. If you would, please let us know where you're watching from. Not going to be on here very long. Got to get to work this morning. Got a meeting I got to go to, but I want to do a quick devotion with you. So if you got your Bibles, turn to Proverbs chapter 25. Proverbs chapter 25. Beautiful morning here. Good morning in Michigan. Good morning in. Let me put my glasses on. My glasses are fogged up. Good morning in South Louisiana. Good morning. Good morning, Gail. Good morning, Margie. In Austin, Texas. All right. Appreciate y'all joining us. Good morning to Ashboro. Good morning, Howard. Good morning, TJ. Good morning, Tracy. Good morning, everybody. Self-control is what we're talking about today. Good morning, Iowa. Appreciate y'all letting us know we're getting around this morning. Good morning, Rhonda. Good morning, in Virginia. Becky Pruitt. Cecil Lewis. I saw our missed you call, brother. I'll call you when we get done. Kim Collins, good morning in Kentucky. Tim Cottle, good morning in Springfield, Kentucky. Arkansas is in the house. Good morning, Donna. <clears throat> Livingston, Texas. Good morning, TJ. Buford. Good morning, Bruce. Marion, North Carolina. Good morning. Mississippi. Good morning, Linda. Good morning, Charlie. Alan, good morning. Proverbs chapter 26, Tennessee. Good morning, Brenda. Dorothy Pate, good morning. Let me turn my ringer off real quick. It's a beautiful day here. It's going to be a beautiful day. All right, let's get started because, like I said, I got somewhere I got to be in a few minutes, but um, just love being in the woods. Stop focusing on the problem, the situation, and re redirect yourself to, to control yourself. You got to control yourself. Everything that comes our way from the enemy is a disrupt. It's a disrupt your faith. This is disrupt your joy, your peace. Here's what the Bible says when we can't control ourselves we lose control the bible says in proverbs chapter 25 proverbs chapter 25 i don't know if i gave y'all the right chapter so i'm gonna hold on a minute proverbs chapter 25 verse 28 Stuart Britt, good morning good morning buddy i was thinking about you the other day all right proverbs chapter 25 verse 28 he that hath no rule over his own spirit is like a city broken down and without walls. He that hath no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. You got to have self-control. That applies spiritually and, and in the world today. You have to have self-control. If you don't, the Bible's very clear. It says you're like a city without walls. What does that mean? Anything and everything can come in and disrupt, destroy, tear down, break down, most of the time in a situation that we're not happy with, it upsets our peace, it upsets our joy. And here's the thing, there's no reason other than we, we give it control of our, of our lives for, our, for us to lose our peace and joy. And I know that's a big statement because I know there's some bad things that can happen. But when you look in the Word of God and you look at Paul, especially how he walked and the things he got involved in and things that come his way, stoning, snake bit, imprisoned over and over, betrayed, all these things. Yet he had his peace, he had his joy. Why? Because his focus was on God and he he didn't he didn't lose control of himself. I'm one of these people that that I'm I that that scripture speaks to me because 
sometimes I can kind of lose control and say things I probably shouldn't say, or even I'm the guy that says things that everybody's thinking, but nobody wants to say it. Well, that, that's not always a good thing. Sometimes it's better to be meek and humble and just say, you know what? I feel sorry for them. They don't get it. They don't understand it, but that's why have I got to set the record straight? So it applies to me in this way that I need to have self-control. I can't control every situation out there. I just mentioned Stuart, my buddy here. I just saw him pop up. He's a highway patrolman. And me and him go way back, way back to, to the early days. And I know that he has to exercise self-control probably for every day. When you pull somebody over or you go to, you know, you go to a wreck and see some bad stuff, you have to, you have to be, you be in control of your emotions because there's probably a lot of emotions going on there. Family members show up, that kind of thing. It could be bad. But also when you're involved in a conflict with someone, if you can't control yourself, you could do something that could forever change your life or even destroy your life. The devil's very cunning. And so whatever you're facing today, whatever your job is, you might not be a high patrolman. You might be a, a businessman or a businesswoman. You might be a, a, a stay-at-home mom or there's even stay-at-home dads now. <coughs> You might be in a deer stand today. Have self-control. Um, and and I'm, I want to go a little step further. Walk in the spirit. That's true control, self-control. When I say self-control, surrender our life to God is what we need to do. But we have to yield ourselves to him. We have free will. God's given us free will. He's not a dictator where he, he just manipulates us. He, we have free will. And my self-control in a situation boils down to this. Lord, I surrender to you. I'm not going to allow this person or this thing to steal my joy and my peace today. I surrender to you. And yes, it's easy to say that. It's very easy for me to say that. When you're in a situation, it's a whole different story. But what the scripture I just read you is very clear. If you have no self-control, you're like a city without walls. Anything that wants to come in there can destroy. Anything that comes in there can just tear down. Walk in the Spirit. Be kind. Be grateful. Be thankful. That is so powerful. Being grateful to God. I've discovered recently that when I wake up at that 3 o'clock hour with um, that spirit of fear that likes to show up every now and then and and, and bother me when I wake up if instead of focusing on what's coming to this in the city so to speak and trying to create chaos I, I focus on what I'm thankful for what I'm grateful for thank you Lord for and I just start naming things and I'm grateful and I'm thankful and there's something that happens when I do that I start feeling inside that a peace and a joy and guess what most of the time, the things that we worry about never happen, never happen. So we spend all that time in anxiety. We spend all that time lashing out and saying things we shouldn't say because we don't have self-control, because we're, we're letting the enemy just wreak havoc with our minds. That's why the Bible speaks about thoughts. It says, take those thoughts captive, because if you don't, they will take you captive. I heard someone else say that. I didn't come up with that, but it's true. If, if you don't take those thoughts captive, they will take you captive. And take them captive. Don't ignore it. And cast it down in Jesus' name. Walk in the Spirit today. Be kind. Be thankful. Be grateful. God is merciful. God is gracious. God loves you today. And no matter what you face or are facing, God is with you. He's not. He has not left you. He's not going to leave you. And... Everything we face, there's a purpose, for it. there's a plan in the middle of it. We don't understand it, but there's reasons for it. You're blessed and you're highly favored. God bless you today. Let the words of our mouth, the meditation of our hearts, be acceptable in his sight. O oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer, in Jesus' name, amen.